Corey, Nancy, and Ethan Haas join us this morning along with Dr. Steve Rose, Chief of Research of Officer for the Foundation of Fighting Blindness. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. First, help me understand what this disease is exactly. This is a disease where the back of the eye, the retina, does not function correctly, doesn't see light, and therefore leads to blindness. And so this is relatively rare, and it's a, a genetic, is it a malfunction? It, in fact, is a missing gene. In, the, in Corey's particular case, this is a totally missing gene, one that doesn't work right, isn't there, and therefore his retina is not seeing light and is not working. So where did the gene come from then that was placed in, in his eye? It came from normal human DNA. Mm -hmm. uh, the researchers at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia actually took that DNA and were able to put it back into Corey's eye uh -huh. and make the retina work. I need to talk to mom and dad here for a minute, Ethan and Nancy. What has this been like? before the injection to realize you've got a child with a congenital problem that heretofore there really isn't much much of an answer for. Right, heartbreaking. Yeah, difficult. Yeah. yeah. And how did you then find out about this, about this opportunity? From a doctor we were seeing in Boston. Yeah. She learned about the study and asked if we would be possible in participating. Yeah. And what, what was your reaction when you heard about this? That maybe there might be something that might be able to help you a little bit? Well, if there's something that's gonna help me see, then I'm all for it. All for it, yeah, absolutely. Were you scared when you, because you have to go, it was an operation, right? Is it an operation? Yeah. Yeah, were you kind of scared a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, and then how long was it before you could, you could, you could, you knew there was a change? Oh, four days. About four days? Yep. Yeah. I want to show some tape of, of uh, uh, Corey going through this obstacle course before, right? He's got the patch right. over one eye, and it's difficult. It's difficult for, for him to get through this obstacle course, right? Mm -hmm. And it took, how long did it take, Mom? Uh, I believe this one took almost over four yeah. minutes. Over four minutes. You've, you've got the best attitude, I'll tell you what, you know, for <laughs> having gone th through all of this stuff. So it takes four minutes, and then we see you with the new gene therapy, and let's take a look at this. How long does it take this time around? It's a matter of seconds. Look at this. Look at that. It zips right through. You are motoring through there, man. <laughs> Dude. It's even dark. We can't even... What's that? Photos. We can't even Photoshop me. It's that dark. <laughs> yeah, the, the video they is pretty light. They have to pick up the night vision lens. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how big a difference is it? We, you went on the tour bus yesterday. Can you can you see? Can you see things you couldn't see before? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what has it been like for you? Good. Good. Really good. His really independence good. has increased and he's able to play like a normal child now. Oh my God. Just run around, play and not have to worry about him tripping over everything. Holy cow, wow. Um, how widely available might this be and what, what do you think it means in the larger sense, Doctor? The whole point of this, of the Foundation Fighting Blindness and supporting this research has been to make this widely available. Yeah. So there are lots of clinical trials ongoing and this really sets the stage for many more diseases, yeah. retinal diseases and eye diseases going yeah. forward. Corey. Rocking through that, uh, rocking through that uh, obstacle course, dude. Thanks very much. Good to good to have you on the program, Mom, and Dad, Doctor. Really appreciate you. it. All right. For more information on this, all you need to do is go to our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.